Hey guys, it's Cass. Welcome to a new video. Uh, welcome to my love letter for you all for Valentine's Day. This is an introduction video to give you guys some background history on Alice and the Alice game series. Before I jump into filming the Alice Madness Returns gameplay playthrough? Walkthrough? Playthrough? But I wanted to make this intro video because I feel like there's too much information and too much of a story here to try to cram into like less than a minute at the beginning of the first gameplay. So I'm gonna go over a lot of the things here and then anyone can reference it if they want to. Before we jump into the video gameplay, every Monday um, I'm gonna release something or at least like a chapter of it until we get through the whole second game in the series. So if you know me, <laughs> you know I have such a passion for Alice, <laughs> if it isn't obvious enough. I try to pick up every book with a different cover um, to support like different artists and things along the way that I come across, um, as you can see. And then of course the stuff behind me, it kind of it has a big like arcing theme over a lot of my decor per se. <laughs> it's just a big, this game is not only my all time favorite game that I'm going to be playing, um, but just this side of the story and the series and the way that the story is adapted in these ways is just like my purest comfort place, which I know is not for everyone because it swings pretty morbid um but that is just very much my comfortable place and that's like stuff i naturally gravitate towards so this it, this story and the way it's told in the game i'm very heavily invested in and visually and thought wise it it's just a very comfortable place for me Specifically moving forward, I'll be focusing on the Alice Madness Returns gameplay through this current series. Um, and then like I said, I'll be posting chapters or episodes every Monday until we complete the game. But first, I feel like we must go back to October 6th of 2000 to pick up where American McGee's Alice series truly kind of started with the first American McGee game aptly titled American McGee. Alice. As I said, it came out October 6th of 2000, which October 6th is my birthday, <laughs> so I'm gonna arrogantly, and at the time, arrogantly considered it to be the best birthday gift for 11-year-old Cass that I could have ever gotten. But it truly, it truly ignited my love um, for taking like such a Disney proper type character um, and it becoming so much more. So it's becoming something morbid um like i said i'm always going to naturally swing towards that but in these games alice truly becomes a character that fits my style and the this like all blew my mind the retelling of the story in this entirely new medium which i appreciate it in this aspect i appreciate artists different renderings of imagery and kind of telling the story there are multiple books that I have over there on my bookshelf um, that a lot of them are just Lewis Carroll's story of Alice in Wonderland, but a lot of them kind of take that and veer and become something entirely different. So American McGee's Alice was developed by Rogue Entertainment um, under the direction and designer American McGee, and it was published by Electronic Arts, which is EA. So it came out under the EA Games banner. The first and second games are now owned by EA. The first game is, like since it came out in 2000, it's very 2000 games graphics kind of wise, but it's retelling of American McGee's perspective of Alice in Wonderland. I have the first game right here. I have done a playthrough on it several times, but I've never actually completed this game. Someday, if the third game <laughs> ever actually sets to release, which I will discuss momentarily, um, I will release playthrough of this and then possibly playing through the second game again, all leading up to the potential of when a third game would drop. Let's get back to detailing out a little bit more of the first game before we jump into the second game, which is 
American McGee's Alice Madness Returns, which is the game we will be playing. But first, a very general quick synopsis of the first game's premise is based on Lewis Carroll's novels Alice in Wonderland from 1865 and then Through the Looking Glass, which came out in 1871. But American McGee's Alice, it represents a gloomy, cruel, and honestly violent version of the setting. The game centers on the novel's protagonist, Alice, whose family was killed five years before the story of the game takes place. After several years of treatment in a psychiatric clinic, the emotionally traumatized Alice makes a mental retreat to Wonderland, which unfortunately has been disfigured by her injured psyche, which in that game, yes, in the whole series, absolutely. <laughs> But a link where you can read more in-depth storyline and intent and information behind the game will be found in the description at the Alice Fandom Wiki page. Now we move on to the second game in the series, which is American McGee's Alice Madness Returns. Like I already said, <laughs> this is the game we will be doing, and then again, episodes dropping every Monday until we complete the game. To begin, <laughs> this is absolutely my all-time favorite video game ever, ever. Alice Madness Returns was released on June 14th of 2011, so it was 11 <laughs> years after the first game. Right off the bat, when we get into this gameplay and if you look anything up about it or have watched like a playthrough of anyone, you can obviously see there's improvements in the graphics, the concepts, the colors, execution. It's 11 years in the future from the first game that's very obvious and it really lends itself to it. I think it still holds up pretty well now. Would love to see what a third game looks like if and when that ever comes to be. Again, I will explain. <laughs> I have played through this game um, to completion a handful of times, um, but it's always been on like an Xbox, a console edition. Uh, so this will be my first time playing it on PC. I'm going to be using an Xbox controller on my PC, so it's really not going to be that different. Um, but it's actually been two years, about, I feel like, since I've played this game at all. So in my opinion, it is long overdue to revisit my favorite game ever. And just like with the first one, a general quick synopsis of Alice Madness Returns, it again follows Alice Little. A girl suffering from trauma caused by the death of her family in a fire. Alice was discharged from a psychiatric clinic and now lives in an orphanage from mentally traumatized orphans under the care of doc Dr. Angus Bumby. He's just, I laugh because he's just, he's a character, <laughs> you'll see. To get rid of the trauma and learn the truth about her past, she once again falls into Wonderland, where a new evil force has corrupted it. I feel like I could rant and rave all day about how and why I love this game so much, but I kind of hope all of that speaks for itself as you watch the playthrough of the game and kind of get the sense of everything that it's about. Like the way the story is told, the things we uncover, and honestly the morbidity of Alice in her wonderland gives me life and satiates kind of everything I love about gameplay, storytelling, um, but also just the morbid and dark side of my brain it appeals to. This is my like dream genre as far as like games, anything that I'm really interested in, coupled with like the cutesy nature of Alice with the morbid, creepy, gross side of things is just... Plus the world in this game, the scene changes, the chapter changes, her outfits in this game, which a lot of them are DLC, downloadable content only, um, but they are all just all the chef's kiss from me personally. But everything in the game has a purpose and just the way it's executed, especially per the plot, is just done so beautifully. I won't say more here for now about it, but we'll quickly give you some lovely overview shots from the game's art book um, so you kind of know what to expect, ideas, and kind of what we'll be up against in this playthrough series. I have the book right here um, and I will show you just some flip through of it.
Lastly, let's discuss the possible, potential, teased third game that has been in the works as far as I understand immediately after the drop of the second game in 2011. So firstly, disclaimer here, I'm going to have some mixed opinions so just remember these are my own thoughts and feelings. I've just become less than thrilled at the state of everything that is currently happening through the third game extended long timeline of it and kind of the roller coaster I feel like it's kind of taken on in the process. So the third game will be aptly titled Alice Asylum and the whole point is to be going back prior to from my understanding the whole point of Asylum is we are going to be going back to the beginning of everything before even the timeline of what happens in the first game. So it's not five years out or however many X of years it is. I just know in the second game it's five years post fire um, where she lost her family. I'm not exactly sure I said five for the first one, but it may be less than that. So the third game, Alice Asylum, is intended purpose is to go back in time before the first game was created. Now, a few years ago it was set to release in 2020, and then again in 2022. And now it's honestly looking like it's potentially several years away still at this point. Um, like I said, remember the second one came out in 2011. However, I will always hope and wait for this to become a reality, but the road to get there has been twisted and often has felt like progress is going backwards. And to be honest, veering off in like all these side quests that are just not my favorite. It should be noted as well that American McGee does not own the rights to the first two games, EA does. So I find myself a little confused because at one point EA was supposedly picking up the third game in the series and then they weren't and they still haven't so far. Um, it's also supposedly been shopped around to several other top competitors. Um, but to this day, after years and years of everything, of working on this game, it's still entirely Patreon and community funded, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it has no real big, big league backer behind it to make it happen as of yet. Personally, it feels a bit defeating, um, as if the game will never come. Of course, I hope I'm wrong, but... I remember being so hyped about this game coming out when it was supposedly supposed to come out in 2020 and this was like end of 2018, early 19 
was when all that talk was happening and then when 2020 and pandemic and X a number of other things and reasons, whatever it is, it just has continued to get pushed back and it feels like other stuff's being prioritized first, which, you know, I can't comment on too much. It's not my game. It just isn't the way that I think it should go. And I, it feels like we have a clear divide in the fandom of people to support kind of the other side quests of things that are happening now with makeup and plushies. And then the other half in the realm that I'm in where it feels like this is just a waste of time and you're, patrons on Patreon are giving you the cash to make these to then buy them from you because we're supporting you. I don't know. It, again, my opinion, I just don't necessarily agree with it or support it. So some of the funds, I guess, from patrons on Patreons and crowdfunding was said to at one point be going towards like purchasing the rights back to the games from EA, but I haven't exactly followed up on this. It's kind of been sprinkled here and there. Um, I will admit, I have entirely gone through phases of personally backing the Patreon and tuning into like every single live stream, being involved on the pages, like thinking especially when it was supposedly supposed to come out in 2020, I was super hyped on it. And then as to, it got pushed back to 2022, I started to pull back my support. And at this stage, I have no clue if and when anything will come out. So I've just taken a real back seat to what is supposedly actively happening for this third game to be picked up and made. Kind of like I said, I've also gone which to the complete opposite direction in support, kind of like I've just said, with American McGee now heavily focusing on releasing the plushies and one-offs of merch, and there was talk of some makeup line with butterflies and pastel colors, which I don't know. I, I don't agree with it, but I, and I feel like it, I don't agree with it necessarily, and I feel like it's derailed some of the progress from time to time, but I also really bite my own tongue because crowdfunding, you know? So if the people that are funding your project are on board with these stupid plushies, in my opinion, that are just more waste, I mean... We all gotta give and take somewhere, right? Despite what I say, artists are actively working on concepts. There's a fully written out gameplay like design concept bible that completely lays out and heavily spoils the next Alice game, the Asylum game, which is the third game in the series. But all of these and more information can be found both for free and behind paywalls on American McGee's Patreon page, which absolutely will be linked below. If you want to read more, tune in to more, are intrigued, want to support. And even now, there is a TV series that was just announced a couple of days ago. So I'm glad I didn't make this back in January when I was originally going to. Um, but the TV series that's coming soon focuses on America McGee's second game, Alice Madness Returns, which is the one that we will actively be playing. David Hayter has signed on to it. Um, which gives me hope for it being adapted to a TV series. Um, personally, I'm a little stressed about the possibility of it going bad. Just given, you know, like when you adapt a, a book to a movie or a TV show, things get crossed, people take freedoms and liberty. I think it just has such like a love and passion for what this game is. I just hope justice is done to it. But for those that don't know, David Hayter is the voice of Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid, which is my first ever console FPS game that I've ever played. Um, and he also wrote, I believe and directed, the uh, X-Men movie series. So a lot of people are very excited. I'm excited by it. Um, so I'm curious to see what ends up happening with him kind of signing on and I believe directing it. So despite my ups and downs in the recent years with what was supposed to happen, what has been inevitably delayed, and what has come out as wasteful plushy merch, in my opinion, this TV series will obviously put more of a spotlight on the Alice series and the fandom kind of overall. Um, I know American McGee hopes to be able to get the rights back to the games from EA, but I also thoroughly know, as he's expressed, 
he's hoping this and just everything across the board with the fully laid out like game design kind of concept bible situation um that it'll get ea in for it for a third game to be produced um honestly i think that's what most of us desperately want because <laughs> i think so many of us just want the game to happen but i will be sure to leave tons of links in the description kind of about everything I mentioned. You can read things in full about the games, his Patreon, the TV series that's coming. And then I will also leave a link to like a little mini trailer on YouTube that like shows the first game, shows a little bit of the second game. And it's a teaser technically for the ideas of the third game. It's also on the Patreon page. So if you go there, it's I think it's one of the main things that you first see is their video about it all. But now that we have this kind of like introduction and pretty quick coverage of the two previous games in the series and kind of what's happening with the third that's yet to be made. Let's then jump into the gameplay which like I said will be dropping every Monday. I'll do a chapter per each one. I think there's I don't know eight? Nine? I'm trying to think of all the worlds because it's been over two years since I played it. Um, but yeah, it'll be coming out every Monday, and I'm just so excited to show this game, play through it with you. Like I said, if the third game ever is has a potential date for release, I'll put up the first one, play the first one, play through the second one again, and then eventually get to the third one ASAP when it drops. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I have for this. I just felt like all this introduction needed its own video, and I'll link to this in every episode. Just because I feel like this is a lot to say in the beginning of a gameplay. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, happy Valentine's Day, guys. This is one of my biggest loves. And I'm sharing my little love letter of Alice to you guys. And love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!